Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to Ascending Soul Journey. I am Lorianne, an intuitive energy reader, psychic medium. I hear it, see it, feel it. And we're going to take a look at you for the next week. Now, we are doing a general reading for the sun, moon, and rising sign. And Scorpio, some of it or all of it may apply to your life. Check out your moon and rising as well. So we're going to start off with, oh, there we go. I love it the wheel of fortune some of you are getting ready and you can feel it i know you can you're getting ready to start a brand new cycle in your life a brand new sector whether it be a one year three year or ten year cycle this is a new cycle in your life and for a lot of you it's a it, this is destined it may be brand new it may even be a repeat of something that took place in the past the Wheel of Fortune doesn't mean necessarily that it's all good. It means whatever you put out, you're getting back. And the universe is actually taking universal flow. And we're going to feel this. You, you probably already are. That's what's making a lot of people tired. The universe is, is going to move this flow around us. And when it moves, it throws us into our destined path. If we actually do the work and move forward, uh, uh, to move forward, we will. Otherwise, we can stay stuck in a world that no longer exists. In old beliefs, that no, in traditions and values and systems and theologies and thinking that no longer work. We have the Seven of Cups. So coming into this week, you have an opportunity to fix and repair, to look clearly for your new path. You see, on this card, we also have two colors, we, and these colors indicate the divide, the divide in you, not just in the global world. The divide is truly about the light and the dark inside of us. In order to master the light and move into a brand new cycle filled with positive and prosperity and abundance, we must also learn to master the dark. And because you are all about transformation, Scorpio, I feel a lot of you know how to do this. You're already aware of that. But for those who are not, that should be very beneficial. Because along with this comes a lot of clouded illusions. It equally can come in with new ideas and expansion and growth. So it's like we're hit from all different angles, the light and the dark. So you guys are going through a transformation in this particular group where I believe you are going to cleanse. You are going to see. You're going to see what you couldn't see before. You're going to be able to see what's in each a cup because each cup holds something. It holds fire. It holds, uh, you know, which is about passion. It holds earth so that you can get grounded in the world, etc. Each cup holds something and it attaches to our emotional body. It attaches to us. It can either move us forward or pull us backwards. So let's see where this is going to go because this isn't saying whether it's good or bad. <laughs> let's see if we can get a little more information. Now I do have my guides and angels here. I called them in and they gave me confirmation they're here. However, this is more about transformation than it is actually seeing anything else. So while we're looking at what is destined, we have the Ten of Cups. This is abundance. This is what I'm talking about, abundance. You may not have been able to see clearly about the life that you lived, the family you grew up in. But whatever's coming in over this next week, you're going to see your family situation from your birth family to your current family and this is about unity this is about you loving it's love this could be friends you are you're living with friends but with this comes truth and clarity and and feeling a sense of being revived so that you can begin a new journey the ten of cups the cups is you after the Ten of Cups comes the Ace of Cups. So some of you are getting ready to wipe your slate clean and you're ready for a brand new life in love. I want to live my life the way I love. I want to live in the house that I love, not what somebody else loves. I don't mean it in a selfish absorbance, you know, the narcissistic way like uh, the true divide talks about although it very well can because we are talking about the divide in this reading, the inner divide in you. Clearing out the clutter, 
clearing out the clutter in your emotional body and your and in your feelings and thoughts when it comes to starting new lives some of us just needed to take a step back from reality and see that relationships we get angry over one person one person can you know we're going to call them um you know person number one came in and hurt us and so because they are a scorpio like you because they are a certain sex because they are a certain age we hate and oftentimes people use that word we don't we associate the entire world and say all zodiac signs under that all 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 when it's only one person that was upside down in your life now this could be you feeling out of control as you might even be feeling a, a spinning sensation a little bit dizzy please always make sure that you're checking on your health especially where we're going through everything in the world changes uh, this is you getting your life back in order not sure if you can do it but you are being guided to do it you are being pulled and again it's just like going to pull you it's just going to happen so let's see where this is going because the king of wands upside down is not good. This is about anger. This is resentment. This is disloyalty and a whole lot of other stuff. We have the eight of cups again. Uh, eight of cups. So we have the seven and the eight of cups. We also have the nine. These are progressive numbers and you are on the way to starting something new that you love. Abundance is about love. Our emotions are about whatever we love. If we love our job, there it is. It doesn't have to be a romance. But it's the inner divide in you that can keep us in an upside down frame of mind. Whether it's starting a new career project or relationship. With this Eight of Cups, this is saying, I am too confused by this person. If this is not you, it could be. But it may very well be an Aries, Sagittarius or Leo you're dealing with. Whatever it is, they cause confusion. It disrupts your family and you're tired of it. You want a new cycle. You want something new. So you are getting ready to walk away. For a lot of you, may you may actually do it this week. But for most of you, I feel you're going to be doing it over the next 5-7. 5-7 weeks could be days, but it feels like 5-7 weeks. The Knight of Wands. This is taking action on your life. Taking action toward what you truly want. What do you love what uh is it that brings that passion back to you passion just like love is anything we're excited about anything or anyone it's not about a person it's not about sexuality or sensuality although it's part of it it is absolutely about action and getting on your horse and moving forward to create the ten of cups and you're getting ready to do that when you walk away from, or you probably already have, by walking away from the clutter, the confusion, whether it's a person or things in your life, this can just be things, we will have the energy to get up and go. And that is what that horse is doing. So let's pull another card for you to see where this is going because it looks like it's going to move in a very positive direction. Some of you may have a person from the past return that you walked away from because you may have thought they were a player. This person's going to come in and they are going to say, hey, I know I was in and out. I may still be in and out for a while because they may have been taking care of a family of their own. Not that they're a cheater, but that they are taking care of their birth family, their own children, their own, closing up their own life. So they may be in and out when you are working with this person, but there is something about them that you're going to, going to know. This Ten of Cups is what you really want with this person. And for a lot of you, it's going to be very positive, very, very positive. It's letting go of that old negative emotions that hold us in something that took place 20 years ago but we're still stuck in it it happens to all of us because it hurts us it's very traumatic right blame so the card that came out for this as your advice card is blame we don't need to blame anybody when we understand we all have a purpose here on life and you and the other person may have a purpose for 10 days 10 minutes 10 years and some of us, it's a lifetime. So they may have popped in and out to keep triggering you, Scorpio, over and over again until you realize, oh, okay, I got to let go of that and get on my horse and move forward. 
there really is no right or wrong in life. It's about choices. It's about choosing to move forward. And that's what I feel a lot of you are getting ready to do. So Scorpio, no blame and focus on what it is you want and get on your horse and move in the direction allowing yourself to cleanse out and release book a session with me we'll get that gone and yeah that's an incredible session i'd love for you guys to post on there what your results are um on the comments that would be amazing so scorpio have a wonderful week thank you for watching much love